Ida, Special Representative of the Secretary General. I must really emphasize that doing more of the same is simply not an option anymore. It's simply not an option. We must, in a way, change our mindset. Nothing of what I would ask you to do is dramatically new. It has, in fact, been agreed. We've talked about it. We've read about it. It's been solemnly agreed in, in international documents. But there's one problem. We haven't implemented it. Meeting the council will hear a briefing by... Yes, there has been fraud. There has been irregularities committed by election officials, by candidates and their supporters, as well as government officials. The turnout was low, almost as low as the elections for the European Parliament. But Afghanistan is a country in conflict. No other day since 2002 has seen so many security incidents as we experienced on 20th of August 2009. Thank you, Madam President. But this election made different from other elections was the degree of security threat. Al-Qaeda, the Taliban, and other terrorist groups did their utmost to dis dis disrupt the election. Painfully, we lost a number of our security forces, our international partners, and Afghan civilians to terrorist attacks per year and during the election day. I think that more troops certainly is needed, particularly to do one thing. We need, we need to build up the Afghan security forces quickly, uh, both the army and the police. That will, n by necessity, need more troops, not only for the training, but also for the mentoring in the field. It's quite inevitable. Is it going well so far? I think it's going well. There's yeah, some scattered.